All right, now in the last lesson, we installed and set up Android Studio to be able to start creating Flutter apps. And in this lesson, we're going to show you how you can run this sample Flutter app, the Flutter demo, as a Android app. So first thing that we need to do is to go into the Android Virtual Device Manager. So you can locate it under this button right here. Alternatively, you can find the Virtual Device Manager under the Tools menu here. And once that opens, we get to create a new virtual device, be it a watch or a phone or a tablet. Now, I know that some of you guys have slightly older devices and the Android emulator is known to be quite a resource hog anyways. So my recommendation is to select the Nexus 6 as your chosen device, because this will allow us to easily accelerate it using hardware acceleration, which I'll show you a little bit later on. So once you've selected your device, go ahead and click next. And now you get to specify which operating system you want to run on that device. Now I recommend going for Android P or Pi. And because we don't yet have that operating system downloaded, we have to click on the download button. And this might take anywhere between five to 10 minutes. But once it's done, then we'll be able to equip our new virtual device or our emulator with the Android P operating system. Now, once it's done, you can go ahead and click finish. And you'll now be able to choose Android Pi as the operating system to equip your virtual device. So let's go ahead and click next. And now we get to either change your virtual device's name, but the most important thing here is to choose hardware for the graphics. And this way we'll be able to use the computer's graphics card for faster rendering. And this is going to vastly speed up your Android emulator. So now we're all done and we can click finish. And now we should see that we have one virtual device that's set up and ready to go. So in order to launch it, all you have to do is click on this little play button right here. And once it's done launching, here's our brand new Nexus device. So in order to test it, we're going to use that app that was created by the Flutter team, and we're going to run it onto our new Android virtual device. So in order to select the virtual device, we're going to go over here and we're going to select the Android SDK that is going to be the target. And now we can click on the play button to run this code onto our Android emulator. Now you can watch as it goes along its different stages of building. Now the initial part takes a little bit longer, but it'll usually be done within five to 10 minutes and you can watch its progress down here. Now, once your patience has been sufficiently tested, the app will load and you should be looking at the Flutter demo app here. And all it does is keep count of how many times you push this button. So every time you push it, the number goes up and that's all it is. But this is just here to demonstrate that we've actually got our Android Studio installed and set up. We've got the Flutter SDK installed and we've now also got the Android emulator up and running. So all we have to do is to set up the iOS part of things. So in the next lesson, we're going to look at how we can install Xcode and set up Flutter to work for the iOS platform.